Talented individuals from the Roseau Valley area got an opportunity to display their products during the second annual Farmers Market. This year's event was held at Constitution Park and also provided agro processors from the area with an outlet to expose their creations to the wider public. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports is one of the agencies involved in the staging of the market and its minister, the Honorable Kenson Casimir, believes it will give persons the chance to tap into the youth economy. This farmer's market has been put on to really showcase some of what is produced right here in St. Lucia. I'm very proud of the young individuals that have come forward. We just saw an ice cream demonstration right there. Um, it looks very, very tasty. And this is what the government of St. Lucia is about, giving everybody opportunities to tap into the youth economy, use their talents, their skills and capabilities, and turn it into enterprise and to further develop themselves and their family. Minister responsible for agriculture, fisheries, food security and rural development, the Honorable Alfred Prosper, emphasize how these events can aid in the concept of food security and promote agriculture in general. What I really picked up from today is that we have a lot of persons involved in agro-processing, but a lot of them seem to be operating from their homes. I want to see that opportunity for a lot of those products to be displayed or seen on the supermarket shelves. And what they, I can tell based on my discussion with them that there are challenges in terms of certification and all of what it takes to get the products to the standard that can make it available for consumers. More significantly, I want to see our, our processors get into the, in, in, to that level where we can begin exporting. Taiwan's technical mission continues to play a vital role in the development of agriculture and youth development. Taiwanese ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chayin Chen, notes that this farmer's market is an ideal way for agro-processors to showcase their products. Uh, we always work with Ministry of Agriculture to host a, a farmer's market to help farmers to uh, increase their income. And, but we are thinking it's better uh, that we can include youth uh, because uh, it's a good way to, for youth to showcase uh, their talent, to showcase uh, their uh, product. And today we see a lot of uh, youth, they actually come with their uh, new product and very uh, unique way for making, uh, for example, like ice cream, for example, like uh, Seymour's juice. So we are really glad that uh, we are having uh, this event today and we are encouraging more uh, citizens, solutions, come to enjoy this ambience and come, come here to enjoy the products and support our youth, support our women and support our farmers. Nizan Hutchinson is a youth worker for Castry South East, Castry South. As an initiative for the International Year of the Youth, we in the Rosa Valley and in collaboration with the Rosa Valley Youth Alliance, the Taiwan Technical Mission and Ministry of Agriculture, we decided to have a farmer's market for young farmers and agro-processors in the Rosa Valley. Today we have almost 15 agro-processors here and they're exposing their business to the public and what they sell and how they created their business and stuff like that. And I believe that this, um, this initiative was a success. It is anticipated that these farmers' markets will continue to be an annual affair. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.